Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. <laughs> Welcome back to the Clutch Kids. It's everyone here. That was one of those instances of we didn't know who was going to start it. No, I knew I was going. Yeah, Dave had a B going on. This is called Sonic Go Slow Level. Yeah, this is. Oh, okay. oh you better oh, we go. Gotta, uh, it's going to be fun. Gotta go slow. You got some, some, some uh, <laughs> gotta go slow. mechanics to. Oh, man. Just gotta go. Just gotta go. Just have to go. Um, Why can Sonic run so fast? He's his hedgehog with <sighs> human. What's the lore behind this? All right. <laughs> Have you seen that screenshot of someone googling yeah. Yeah. what is Sonic the Hedgehog, and then it's just like it? Cr they've cropped it out and just wrote Sonic the Hedgehog, and then they've cropped it out again and just focused on hedgehog. Hedgehog. Crash Bandicoot, are you going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about the same thing. Like, yeah, what type of animal is Crash, Crash Bandicoot? Bandicoot? <laughs> yeah, what animal? Bandicoot. <laughs> so funny. Mm -hmm. uh, the, can I just say something? Yeah. One thing that is happening yeah. is there's sometimes like a late um, reaction to my input. Mm -hmm. So just then I was like jumping and it's happened a few times before where I've like needed to jump, but it, it picks up like half a second too late. It's really right. interesting. So I don't know if it's like the connection between the Joy-Cons and the Switch, or it's like an input thing on Sonic, on the actual game. That's sad. Why don't you hook up the Pro Controller? You probably have better luck. Yeah, hook up the Pro Controller, man. Yeah, really? Jared. I don't know. I Stop don't know. Stop Peter Pressure Marine. Pressure Marine. Pressure Marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop Pressure um, Hey, we were talking about Americans before. Yeah. And, uh... I've and realized... one of them. Huh? No, 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 it's not not bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I realized that all Americans are dumb and stupid. Everybody hates me. Everybody, everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. <laughs> um, oh damn it! No, no, no. Uh, I wish I uh, get all the, the get all the rings. Get your rings. Back. What are you doing? I'm trying to get through that wall because I'm pretty sure there's a sweet something. Can you dash there. through it when you're up? Oh, no, I've story. already break the floor. But as I was gonna say, I um so you know a while ago we were talking about ASOS. Mm. ASOS is the best. And I've, they had a sale recently. Okay. And you, wow, wow, that was is awesome. ASOS American? What do you buy from ASUS? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought they were Australian. Yeah. ASUS. No, uh, ASOS. A S O S. O S. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's clothing. Uh, like it's ASUS like an online. Is computers. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. ASOS I thought you were just like, online I thought clothing you were just mispronouncing like, things. No, ASOS. Sorry, is Javid, you were telling a story about ASOS. Yeah, geez. Come on. Come on. Um, please. No, I uh, I realized that our sizes are like heaps different. Okay. Than Americans. Because here I'm like an extra large shirt. What? Mm -hmm. What? No, you're no, not. You're not. Yeah, I am. No, you I just mean, wear big that, shirts. That, yeah. I yeah. wear extra larges too. Like something snug would be like a large. Really? Yeah, man. You're not that big. No, I'm not. But but I mean, I'm pretty like I've got a big build. If I bought you a shirt, I'd buy you a medium. Yeah, I'd buy you. Oh, I'm a medium. Are we the same build, do you reckon, Jar? I reckon we're pretty similar, Dave. Yeah, I'd buy. I I go for medium shirts. I'm too. Yeah. I think. I think. For I think Javid likes clothes. a lot of room. Ooh, in his I shirts. do. I, I like um. Yeah, yeah I like look like bigger shirts. Yeah, anyway, that's this isn't the point. <laughs> the, um... But are you starting to discover my <laughs> boom, like boom. eternal struggle oh, of buying clothes in Australia? Well, yeah. So like, I bought, <sighs> I bought a large like jacket. Yeah. And it is like an XXL. Really? From, from yeah, the states? So is it from the states? Yeah, so I bought a large yeah. from the states, but but it came back and it's like so big, like an extra anyway, extra. What large. I learned is that uh, will it fit the me? Sizes are different, <laughs> dude. Yeah, it probably would. Um, yeah, back home I'm a double X. In Australia, I'm anywhere between a three and a four. Whoa, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, but that's in some places because none of our places want to nope. do the same as other places. Yeah, ours is yeah. different a lot. It's so stupid. It's like a size. You go to one shop and you're a large, you go to another shop and you're an extra large, and it's like. Especially with shoes. Like, shoes are not consistent. Do you know what my. In big W, I'm an my, 11 uh, and came on a 10. My response to that is I wear size 9 vans all the time. Oh, yeah. Just, mm -hmm. just vans. They're just, just vans. straight up vans. That's what I wear. Vans are weird for me. Like This is a weird level. Like, whenever I go clothes shopping, yeah. it's very strange. Like, I can buy shoes at. One this place weird level. that I can fit oh, in, no. at, like it's like a size nine or ten, like Declan's thing, and then I'll go to another place uh, and I'm a size six. That's oh, really? crazy. Yeah, it's like, I don't even understand. What's you going got on. you got little you got them little feet though. Yeah, the, the, like the boots that I'm wearing right now, I think are size seven. See, like so, but I they just, look huge to me. I just bought a pair of RM Williams and they're size eight and a half for me. Is but if tiny? I'm buying Vans, 
they're so I, I wear a size 10. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's why uh, I hate online shopping for clothes. Yeah. I like, yeah, it's. I really need to try stuff on. Oh, dude. dude. Otherwise, I'm like so put off. Yeah. <laughs> I um. I I mean, with like t-shirts, I just I don't think it's an every occasion where I, like sometimes I get a large, but most of the time they're mediums. See, shirts, I just go straight I, extra large. Shirts are hard. For extra me. large. Yeah, I'm an extra large. You oh, you guy. do wear you and Jav wear like the um. Baggy the, shirt. The, I guess it's baggy, like the long lines. long yeah, long yeah, long my, fit shirt. I love the long line shirts. Where do you get them? Um, I, the last round I got from JJ's. <laughs> JJ's you still shop at Man. JJ's. Yeah, for plain black long line T-shirts. Man, I, they're like ten bucks. That's pretty cool. Um, pretty otherwise, a, you can buy sixty dollar ones from Topshop. No, not. Top I get shop. everything from like Kmart Zara or something. Or yeah, I do, I do a lot of Kmart. Yeah, but I get a, oh, I, want, I get a lot from uh, Cotton On. Yeah, right. Cotton is great. is awesome. Kmart is awesome. You can um, find some hidden gems at like factory JJ vibes. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, only sometimes. Um, the thing that uh, got me th- like feeling kind of bad though mm. is that apparently Cotton On are terrible with... Uh, I, they pretty are much everywhere. Uh, else. <laughs> like, um, it's hard to find... What am I trying to say? What are the words, Dave? They're, they're uh, child labor like, issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like ethics. Ethical. Sweatshop vibes. Yeah. 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 Cotton On's one of the worst. So is JJ's. Say vibes again. Oh, whoa, say, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, something happening with my controller. No, you did it. Oh, okay. You did Sorry, it. Guys. Um, no, but I, um, I'm, the shirts that I buy are like the, um, the crappy ones from like Target or Kmart. Yeah. Um, and like it works out because they cost like five bucks, which makes me think maybe they are. Oh, they're bad. Yeah. Bad. But, um, <laughs> my consumer ethics guide tells me. They only last like one or two washes and then they stretch out his bad. Oh, really? Yeah. No, nah, mine, mine are going good. But the thing is, like, I, I keep them for about... I usually... Each shirt is about a six-month lifespan before they get a little bit too ratty to keep wearing. Right. But they're, they're five under $5 each. So, like, I can buy, yeah. like, five shirts for, like, mm. 25 bucks. Um, they all last for six months, and then in another six months time, I'll just spend twenty five bucks. Whereas, like, I used to buy plain shirts that could would cost like uh, what, like twenty dollars. Like, you, it would be like a deal if you got like forty dollars for two or something. And they lasted like exactly the same amount of time. Yeah, I can't justify paying that much. Um, and I was just like, oh, I might as well just buy the cheap ones, throw them out whenever I need to, and not feel bad about it. And they're just all I wear is bloody black and white shirts anyway. Okay, I have, <laughs> like, I have, I have a couple grey shirts. Where do you get uh, your button shirts? Um, I don't know. They're all over the place. That's I um, the issue a couple that from I have Target. Is... Actually, a couple from yeah. Target is good for yeah. Um, Target and Kmart have some pretty good button shirts sometimes. Yeah, button shirts are my downfall. Oh really? Yeah. Hard to buy. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a belly. Mm. And every shirt nowadays, no <laughs> matter where you get it from, slim fit. Is always fucking slim fit. Yeah. <laughs> or it says regular fit, but really it's lying. <laughs> they mean like. And it's still like fit. chesty fit. So it, everything fits across my chest, and it's just the the one right. button just above like my belly button. Mm-hmm. It uh, never works. Yeah, That's why right. I always wear my shirts open. Like uh, flannels. with a um. Right. Yeah. Well, it's that go. one button that just is like screwing up my life. I Man. get that, but because I buy extra large. And t-shirts. then all those all those places don't have one size extra. Mm. Yeah, they they, they stop out. at two X, and I'm like, well, yeah. shit out of luck. I buy extra <laughs> large t-shirts. Yeah, and if it's a button-up shirt, it's pretty much always a medium because the only time I wear them, I like them like Fitted. snug as yeah. opposed to yeah, you don't want a baggy. Sixteen times too big for my neck and mm. oh, the worst thing is is there's a there's a big and tall store which you would expect would have shirts for me, but big and tall to them just means more chest. Right. And so I'm like, what's all this extra here? <laughs> <laughs> like up I, at my I shoulders. Bought, I bought the bullet with collared shirts and just spend like 80 bucks on one shirt. Because cool. I don't wear them that much. So I'd, I, have I to, just bought the bullet with them. I've settled that I just have to order my shirts from like Gap in the States. Because Gap in the States has my size, but Gap in Australia doesn't. Why? That's so stupid. I'm, I mean... It's because it, it, it's because I'm not a normal size for Australian. Australians yeah, sure. are much smaller on average than than us Americans. Yeah, sure. So um, I yeah. blame my metabolism on America. America, it's America. Trump's fault, man. Yep. 
Trump's fault. That orange bastard. America. This is so good, by the way. And, like, what are you doing? We have no right idea now? what's going on. Yeah. We just talked Whoa, about like this <laughs> we just talked about shopping for like yeah, twenty we, minutes. <laughs> what are we girls? What are we insane? Steph, please don't listen to this. Hey Steph, listen to this and then yell at Javid. What the yeah. flick is what the flick? The, what the flick, man? What the hell is Hey, going what the on flicky? Right hey! Is oh. this evil Knievel? Yeah, is this like a circus or something? Um, Jav, oh, are rad. you too busy to for me to ask you a question? No, man, ask away. You got interviewed. Oh, yeah, dude. You What'd got you, interviewed like, by... Because you, know? you, you told me, man. You oh. got interviewed. <laughs> What'd you get interviewed um, for? It's a very big deal. It was great. Um, so, uh, one of our listeners... <laughs> yeah? The legendary... Uh, I won't say his last name, but his, his first name is Josh. He's probably might be one of our youngest listeners. <laughs> Anyway, he's a, well, I mean, when I say Oh, young, I totally a, saw this tweet. It yeah, was yeah. awesome. He was a legend. And um, he's, he's one of our good friends, kid. Yeah. And um, he's, he's in grade five. That's how young he is. Um, but yeah, shout out to you, Josh, if you're listening right now. And uh, yeah, he's, he's doing an assignment on video games. And he asked me to interview me. Yeah. On like the state of video games. It was That's really awesome. The cool. state of video games, well, dude, really? It was nah, like, set the tone for the tweet you did because it made me laugh so hard. Yeah. So like... It kind of started out, um, oh, you know, it was, yeah, I was, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but he just, he just came out and said, hey, um, how do video games affect us socially and mentally? Whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're like, I did not prepare socially for this. Socially and mentally? Yeah, I was like, dude, how do I answer What that? does that mean? It was awesome. It was one of the coolest interviews. Like, he asked really good questions. Yeah. I think I was expecting just, like, you Should know, some really basic... Um, what is your favorite sweet. video game? It was great. But how do video games affect our, our yeah. emotions? How do you think your <laughs> favorite video game formed your moral opinions? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What is your favorite video game? That's a great question. Dude, don't ask that question. That's too hectic. Favorite nah. video game. Try. What's your What's your favorite video game? Does your game? favorite video game mean the video game that you spent the most time no, on? No, it's your favorite no, it's one. Your favorite. And it would be Dota. Oh god. <laughs> I hate it so much. Dota. <laughs> close, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like close close <laughs> second would be Civilization Five. Uh, Deck. What's your P Seaman? What's your favorite video game? P Seaman. P Seaman. I regret <laughs> saying that instantly. P Seaman. Oh, what I was going for a was P like, don't listen to this. You know, That's like, great. You're such a you're such a Mac as That's a cool you're little. You're such a PC man. But you said P Seaman. P Seaman. Josh is listening to this, man. Come oh, on. Gosh. Yeah, we went from like. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so bad. Oh, that's cool. Um, hey, but this is why our videos get demonetized now. But um, the YouTube. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> What? What? 3D Sonic. 3D time. They didn't say this was 3D. Um, Parallax. Oh, this is kind of amazing. Parallax Sonic. Wow. I didn't even and notice that, that back this there. This is tricky. really weird. Yeah. Was it, that back there the whole time? It's too far away. Yeah, hey, yeah, back but, to the front. but what's your favorite? Wow. Whoa, so what's your favorite weird. video game? Is that Declan? Pokeball? Yeah, Declan. Um, you go first, You go man. first. Oh. You brought the pain. I know I brought the pain. Now I'm thinking like... Different, do we go by like? No, nah, I reckon just like. I don't know. If like, what is what is the most enjoyment? Enjoyment you've yeah. got from video the game. The most enjoyment that I got from video game would have to be change it from favorite video game to maybe favorite video game moment. Oh, that's even harder. Well, here's the thing. I like, feel like that's easier. I got it. Uh, I got. There's this heaps funny one. home video mm. of me at Christmas time one year, and I would have been like. Wait, are you 11. the Nintendo 64 kid? <laughs> Wait, oh my God. Are you an N64 kid? No, the Nintendo 64 kid. Uh, I was a I was a Sega kid. My dad had a Sega, and I played like man. Aladdin and James a Sega? Bond. A Sega. A Sega. I'm just making fun of jokes. No, I hate you, Sam. I, my parents, my parents <laughs> sat me down, and they told me to close my no! eyes. And then they put a present in front of me and my brother. Oh my gosh, he was a Nintendo kid. And I opened my eyes, and it was Crash Bandicoot on PlayStation One. Oh man! And I man. flipped my shit because he didn't there's have a PlayStation. Video of me, there's a video, there's a home <laughs> video of me, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh you, my god, he is a Nintendo kid. kid. Oh He's a Nintendo oh kid. Can you find He's this video for kid. us? You're a Nintendo 64 kid. And we need this video stat. And then yeah. after me freaking out for like five minutes, my little brother, who is like super younger than me. Was like, what is it? <laughs> it's funny. Did you have so, a I mean, PlayStation? Like, in, that, in that in that regards, like playing Crash Bandicoot One on play, it was a PlayStation Two, but that was the game that came with it. Was like amazing. Dude, you but should then be there's here another game did. that is like, and respect to anyone who knows this game, all time like 
what you said of like most memories and whatever is a game called Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god, dude. dude. Yes. That game is is so, so good. good. So good. And because it's like that cool split screen vibe where it's not actually split screen. It's like one screen, but you can only run so far without the other person playing because it like stops the screen. Yeah, Me and some of my best friends would play that for like hours on end co-op it was like the best game so great man me and my bro we had similar experience i think i played i think number two was the big one like oh yeah we i think ours was the first one <laughs> right yeah, like again? same place again no dang it um yeah dude you should have been here when we played the new um crash bandicoot remake yeah it was pretty cool no, slash kind of hard yeah I, um i have i have like favorite video game moment yeah was it was me and my friend my friend was staying over at my place he yep. was a bit older than me and yep. we became really close friends because we liked video games mm-hmm. and we would usually rent the strangest video game that we could find yeah or games that we've like really enjoyed and mm-hmm. continue to play them over and over again we just rent them every friday and hang out yeah uh mm-hmm. stay up way too late playing video games and this one time we, we rented uh, Gauntlet Legends, which is a fantastic nice, game. Nice, love it. On N64. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we stayed up all night just making the stupidest character names. Like, <laughs> and just like, you know when you get to that stage when you're young and you're up at like 3 a.m. and you just can't stop laughing? Yeah. Man. Stop. And your parents that constantly come into to your me. room telling you you need to, to be quiet. Because <laughs> you're just too loud. It was just, uh, it was just one of those moments I'll always mm. remember playing Gauntlet Legends and making up stupid voices and names for characters. <laughs> Love Never it. forget it. I was Man, like 12. Gore Legends started this conversation that could be kind of interesting to talk about. About why most games, like adventure games, start with like a green level first. Oh. Like a, like a green forest level. <laughs> it's all, like even in Sonic, green like forest. every the first level in like adventure games or like any, in most games starts with like a nice green forest level. You got to watch the world decay. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's it. Not in bloody The Last of Us. Is that an There's adventure no game? There's no green levels in that. But everything yeah, starts out good. But there's some green, but normal. it's towards the end. Uh, there's one whole level of, like, when they're just about to get to the uni vibes. And what, like, the giraffe? Yeah, the giraffes and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty green. That, yeah. Except, I don't know like, what you're talking except about. Except metaphorically Five green. minutes into that game, <gasps> I was a bawling mess. Oh, I need to play that game. That's that's how they get ya. Me and Talia have been playing um, Dream Daddy together. Oh yeah, which has been great. And we're just gonna start playing a lot of video games, like um, as a team. Mm-hmm. We've decided, so yeah. we're gonna. I think we're gonna get a PlayStation and play through some Uncharted and Last of Us. Oh, that's cool. Things cool. like that. They're so good, man. So I've played the first Uncharted, but I want to play a bit more. So. Wait. So, what was what's your favorite game? Do you reckon, Sammy? I don't oh. know. Oh, I don't think I have a favorite game. <laughs> I've got two. All right, go on. They're real. They're real clear. Yeah. Um, Crash Bandicoot two. Yep. And The Wind Waker. Wow. How many times have you played each of those? Um, Crash two. I've finished a lot of times. Oh no. <sighs> I reckon. I reckon I've got two games too. Um, the first game is Ocarina of Time. Um, and the second game is Overwatch. Oh, oh yeah, dude! I've yeah. been playing Overwatch. It's Dave. so good. I just wouldn't have expected it. Dave, I just I'm playing Overwatch again. Nostalgia vibes. No, I just think that Overwatch is a great game. That's cool. Uh, I'm back I, in it, Dave. Yeah, I like that. Oh um, god. One of your favorites is like a modern one. Yeah, I think a lot of people's favorites are old games. Old yeah, games. Old ones yeah. that have kind of made a mark. Yeah. You know, like of, I did say Ocarina of Time. Mm. So. Well, yeah, yeah, but like. But like it's oh I know my favorite game yeah yeah I know what you mean because a lot of your favorite games are games that you grew up with that yeah. like were formative games yeah um but I, I think like you don't necessarily say your favorite albums are like the first albums you ever That's listened to a, do you I know do. what I mean I would I would though what I'm a weird kind of guy like what's your favorite Whoa. Tiny little Sonic. <laughs> it's it's so baby big. Sonic. Baby Sonic. Oh, oh and Bonnie. little baby Spike. Oh, he's so <laughs> cute. Do you know what? There was another game on PlayStation oh. 2 that, if anyone knows, I'm also going to be heaps stoked on called yeah. Grandia 2. Oh, no, Grand- no, no, no. And it was like, that was that was an all-time, that game was, that was oh, visionary. 
Um, um, my game would have to be uh, Fable One. Fable One was wow. great. Yeah, that was, was good. good it was the well. first game. That's the game that made me want to get an Xbox. Oh and yeah. Why I bought an Xbox. It was for like that Jack and ultimately Halo. Yeah, Halo. But I think I've played through Fable One like maybe five or six oh, times. Oh, dude, trying to like beating Fable One with like every possible like I'm neutral, and then I was like half neutral, half good. Yeah. And then like half neutral, half bad, fully bad. That I feel like though, going back to Fable One, the game really wanted you to be bad. It was Those so kind of games so cool, easy though. to be bad and so hard to be good. It was rad because you could like you have the Halo or the Devil yeah Wars. the that Devil. Was cool. It was it was about like how it affected your avatar like that mm. that was huge and against everyone's probably better judgment uh, Peter Molyneux is probably my favorite game like dev ever Man. even through all his faults did you play uh. Fable 2 and 3 yes Ugh. I loved Fable 2 whoa Fable 3 not. was what Fable 2 should have been <laughs> Fable? Fable, Fable 3 was like Fable 2.5 like yeah. in terms of like stuff that was in there Fable 3 Ooh, was so weird. But I still like, I love yeah. hearing Peter Molyneux talk about games and ah. what he wants a game to be. Not necessarily like what he's promising, but Did like... Did that thing just flip you to the other level? How, yeah. games, wow. how, how games should be made and stuff. I really like what he has to say. I'm going to go back here. Go get flipped to the other layer. Boom. That's cool. That was clever. Whoever yeah. thought of that mechanic, you are a clever guy or gal. Oh, man, that really hurts my eyes. Do you get a little I actually remember on. playing OG Sonic on my dad's Sega. Oh, man. Sega. Um, so, Declan, before you said that your favorite, like the first album you ever listened to. Yeah. Still one of your favorites. Yeah. What is it? But there's two There's two things, though. Again, is it Toxicity by Slim Over Down? <laughs> man, you guys' no. first albums are way better than mine. The toxicity. You know what? This is going to make you laugh. He's funny. One of my favorite albums, if not my favorite al album when I was like five or six, yeah. was the Spin Doctors album. Oh, because I, don't know what I that saw is. the Spin no Doctors idea. on Sesame Street and fell in love with oh, it. Cool. You know the, al the song Two Princes? One, two, princes who adore you. Oh, yeah. 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 So that whole album was my oh, favorite album. The and 90s. then when I turned 12, my parents bought me American Idiot. The album American Idiot, oh, and man. I fell in love with Green Day. Like, oh, we, like, you were twelve. To the well, point of like, mm. yeah, I was in. I was, I was like, fifteen. I think it came I think? out in like yeah. two thousand and five or something. I was pretty. You were probably. I was like mid to late high school. I think. No way. Surely. I think I was no. like. I think you I was in year that. five. No, it came out in two thousand four, two thousand five. Oh, okay. So then I was. Because it, it was out whenever I first came to Australia. I was fifteen when I came here. Yeah. And so. Like, that was the first album I ever owned. Yeah, My right. favourite band in the world was mm. Green Day. The first gig I ever went to it was Green was Day. Green Day. Oh. Yeah. Um, and I think one What was day, the first album you bought with your money, though? Um, Bullet in a Bible <laughs> by Green Dude. Day. <laughs> really? Yeah. I remember. Sure. Didn't have a parental gonna advisory get, warning I'm gonna on the front of the, it? Um, I'm going to get the heart grenade tattooed uh -huh. on me one day. I remember when I was a kid getting, because I was into like hardcore music and stuff, uh, one of my family members going like, you must love Green Day. So bought me like three Dean Green Day CDs. Jeez. I was like, oh, thanks. People threw, really don't threw like them. I threw them out. Oh, <laughs> <Aww, laughs> Green Dick. Day. <laughs> um, there's a lot of music. Oh, you killed that little baby thing? Dave, there's a lot That's of music so references in, in uh, Dream Daddy. I think Is that? I appreciate, yeah. Get back here, Robotnik. Wait, what the hell? There's he like a away. yeah. There's like a whole string of jokes uh, off of like My dumb. Chemical Romance. Oh, dude, it's brutal. I love My Chemical Romance. There's a really emo kid, and he's like, oh, does yeah. he does he always complain about wanting to go to go to the circus? <laughs> 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 That's good. Does he want to be in the oh, Black yeah. Parade? Um, oh man, my I, we've talked we've yeah. definitely talked about this before. But the first album I owned um, was on a cassette. Oh, nice. Uh, and, and it was Hanson? Oh, what the... It was... Um, no, it list. was... <laughs> What's the story, morning glory, well... Oasis, guys, come on. Okay. Really? No one Oasis. reacted to that. Yeah. Um, it was Oasis and then a Michael Jackson album. Oh, that's sick. Um, and then, like, the first CD I ever got was um, OK Computer, Radiohead. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Man, I remember rocking um, 
cool kid. Yeah. And MJ, MJ Best of Vinyl on my oh, dad's. Oh, um, Back in like, this was like, probably like 99. Yeah. It was so great. Sonic did a moonwalk. I remember, uh, I was I was super young. Mm. I remember getting like, I really saw neck because I was headbanging so much. <laughs> <laughs> headbanging to, yeah. to, to, to Michael MJ. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, head, yeah. So, Jav, do you remember when uh, we were in Bexley? Yeah. And, like, we did this thing where everyone in Bexley would put their five favorite albums yeah. up of all time. Do you remember what yours were? No. I'm going to see if I can find it on Facebook. Wait, what do you mean? Well, we oh, put them up like, as posts on Facebook. Facebook post. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I remember um, one thing. I actually have really... F- I don't know why this memory has really stuck so clearly in my mind. But um, I have this memory of... Um, us on tour, Davey. Yeah. One of our, like, activities we did in the car was everyone um, had to put on their... I think Spotify was around that time. Okay. Um, their, their top, like, ten songs. Oh, whoa. That was really cool to see, like, everyone's Like, most album. played songs? Yeah. yeah. I find Under- that too hard. No, no, like, it was automatically chosen for you because it was, like... Oh, no, no, your most played no, songs. No, 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 no. You, you oh, went you, through and you found... Oh, this, you picked them. Like, the yourself. songs or... Yeah. Oh, no, I like the ones that are just, like, what's your most played in, in your... Yeah. Like, that... Collection. Oh, man. I, I did a... Actually, I did a show on Twitter. Because I think it was at the end of last year. Spotify created a playlist. Like, this is the, the songs that you've played the most... Oh wow, year. that's cool! It was really cool, um, and so I asked everyone what, what they what it was, and it was it get, you had like a really cool glimpse into like who everyone is. I struggle with that because when I like fall in love with an album, I listen to it for like two months, and that's the only thing that I listen Man. to. Yeah, yeah, same. And then, yeah, yeah, and then I kind yep. of like get to a point where I don't want to listen to it anymore. Dude, I love yeah. you. Because I kind of hate it because I've listened to it so much. Oh And my I gosh. think that people around me are starting to realize that I do this as well. Because I, about two months ago, fell in love with Pine Grove. And literally, <laughs> the only thing I listen to when I'm in my car or when I'm at home, and the only songs that I now like sing along to and play on guitar yeah. at home a pine grove, pine grove. Yeah. and then like the other day I was playing one of their songs I was actually playing it like before you guys rocked up like I think Jav might have been here I was playing one of their songs Conan knocked on my door and I, I just remember him leaning in and going Declan I'm really fucking sick of this song <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know exactly what song it was as well. Yeah. It you was, know what song wait, it is let, because it's the only thing that I've who's like been... walking with my neck out. <laughs> yeah, was that right? Yeah, you're right. Am I right? You're right because I live with you and you hear me sing it 16 times a day. It's great. I'm not complaining. I love that album. I listen to Pine Grove Hits. Um, the um, dude, we're soulmates because I do the same thing. Like I'll get so into a record. Um, I remember I got way and like Dave will remember this. Yeah, way into um, Purpose by Justin Bieber. Yeah, wow, he did. Like, that's such a good album. It's, it's great. Ma- it's yeah, really good. dude, I I played that like every day for yeah. like three months. I was just so into it, like into production, into like you know, lyrics or whatever. But you know, like production wise, melodies so great. Yeah. I cannot. I can't listen to it again. Like I just, it's. Uh, I kind of hate that I do that because I I love it. I think I think what I'm trying to do is like recognize when I want to keep something like um, important to me. Yeah. That I won't listen to it that much. You know. Yeah, like, I started doing that. Yeah. And like, as much as I want to listen to it, I just yeah. kind of pace myself because otherwise, I just it becomes too <laughs> overplayed. Dude, I'm I'm actually playing this um, song at the moment. I heard uh, on Triple J. Um, it, 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 I think his name is Slack, or it's like Six Lack. Yeah, um, that song is so good. It's a am- uh, it's, it's called that far. Yeah, man, I Six Lack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of um, that one song that on the on the radio, like I've just I found it on Shazam. Yeah, it's awesome. It's so great. Um, so Jav, I've just been scrolling through our old band Facebook page. Yeah, and on uh, f- the fifteenth of July, two thousand thirteen. You posted my top five most influential records because we were doing that thing where yeah, everyone yeah, in the band yeah. would do that. 
Could you now, in 2017, repeat the list? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, go on. Um, it'll be... A definitely a Further Seems Forever record. Yeah, which one, though? Uh, probably How to Start a Fire. Okay. Mm, maybe it's The Moon Is Down. Which one are you going to go with? I'm going to say Moon Is Down. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Also, Me Without You. Yeah, okay, which one? Um, That's a good call. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um, First Gas Rust the Foxes. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I can't remember if I had a Dashboard album. Ooh. Uh, Alright. You get it. such a glimpse into someone's like childhood <laughs> yeah, teenage yeah. years when they do this. Dashboard, I don't know, but I think maybe Copeland. Um, dark Beneath Medicine blue, Tree. Dark blue. Oh, that's a great album. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I see you, Jack, Jackie. <laughs> uh, Our City's Burn. Okay. Um, Jackie, eh? What's the record name? Uh, Son of Love, You at Your Darkest. Yep. Is that, uh, is that four or five? Jimmy World, maybe? Um, Which album, but? Uh, Bleed American. Oh, man. All right. Do you want to know how accurate you yeah, were? Yeah, You were very inaccurate, in fact. Oh, really? <laughs> the only one you got right was Further Scenes Forever, The Moon Is Down. Oh, man. Okay. So, right now, you've got here, Further Scenes Forever, The Moon Is Down. Alison uh, Krauss, oh, 100 man. Miles or More. The Chariot, Everything Is Alive. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Ryan Adams, Heartbreaker. Yeah, yeah classic. Me Without You was close, but it was A, a to B, B Life. A to B Life, yeah. And you had a, your sub was um, Owen, I Do Perceive. Dude, that's... How many have you picked? That's super true. Um, what do you mean? How many albums one. do you get to pick? Five. Five. So, like, I'll, I'll, right, I'll, I'll do some of... Um, I'll find my ones in here. So, is this, like, not... Is this... I feel like I've done this a couple of times, but it's based on albums entirety, start to finish. Yeah, how much yeah, you yeah, love yeah. It, yeah. As opposed to, like... Like an, like a couple good songs are on it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah so, yo, you. I have something for you as yeah. well to look up. You can go to yearinmusic.spotify.com to look at your top played tracks. It's just gonna be Pine Grove. I wanna, I wanna look at yours, Dave. <laughs> um, after this. Oh, that'll be cool. I'll do that. Um, so my my top five were was uh, I wish I should have just given you my phone because it would have been great if I could have got tested oh but um <laughs> <laughs> it was radiohead okay computer still agree as cities burn son i loved you at your darkest still agree cold okay this is a what this the... is an unusual choice Whoa, but is I... this a glitch right now yeah. yeah surely guys jump just get out of there. yeah you did it baby Whoa, that does not handle. well he did like a cool like falling animation he was like whoa but like Whoa, that is not handling that well at all. Mm. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Are you about to say Coldplay? Yeah, so, wow. okay. Coldplay, Viva Which La album? Vida, or Death and All of His Friends. Yeah, man. That's a good Absolutely album. Absolutely a had, fantastic like, album. gosh sessions on that record. Yep. Um, Whoa, if God. you exclude Viva La Vida as a track, then it's the oh, best yeah. album. Yeah. <laughs> um... Uh, that's really funny. Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love that. I don't know if I'd still put it in my top five. Um, and Sufjan Stevens, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you ever have And my the... sub would be this, this is The Strokes, This Is It. Did you ever have the deluxe Coldplay album with Lost Plus with Kanye on it? Uh, no. Yeah. But and he raps I know in about the, it. In the bridge? Yeah. It's so good. That's, that's nuts. That's actually Someone pretty good. Someone bought me that for my birthday. It was um, Carl from the Medics. Oh. Yeah, he bought me... Um, That's cute. Yeah, that was cool. Would you add any start to finish best albums to that list now? Oh, I think uh, like, I would... Because, like, I mean, you ha it has to be, like, albums that are flawless mm. the whole way through and there's, like, not a, one bad track on it. Well, I think I don't know if I agree. With, I I think that like I just have to like the album. Like it's just got to be the out al an album that I like the most. Like I, I always think there's going to be better in tracks that I like more than others. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, hundred percent. So like Viva La Vida, I actually think is one of my favorite albums, but I just don't like Viva La Vida as one song on right. it because I feel like it was the song that their like label just told them like, hey, this is like really yeah. weird, like. 
Can you do like a standard Coldplay song and just put it in the middle there and we can use that as the single? <laughs> <laughs> and then they did. And they did. Yeah. And it was... Dun, 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 yeah. Dun. But it just doesn't fit with the rest of the album. Um, That's what I mean, but that, that like... Yeah. Surely... It's I mean, still my favourite album, though. Like, yeah. it's still, like... Not my favourite favourite, but, like... It's still, like, an incredible album. So I'm not really following, like... What's happening? In what's this happening level? in this whole game? Yeah, I'm just kind of weird. moving f around and hope that it works. <laughs> Isn't that how you Sonic? <laughs> yeah, like I just, I, honestly, I don't think this is good. Like, it started pretty cool, but I don't know, man. I'm not feeling like this is good. Feels like it's kind of like not good. Anyway, <laughs> not good. Welcome back to the Punch Kids. Hello. We're playing Sonic the Hedgehog. What animal is Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> Just Google it. Bandicoot. What He's animal <laughs> is Sonic? <laughs> um, so in that short break that we just took, I mean, we were just talking about uh, albums and how we listen to music, but we all just oh. uh, went on to the Spotify, like, 2016 most played tracks just to see what we got. And i got to say, I'm surprised at my results. I'm like... I'm really surprised at my I, results. I wasn't surprised, and then I got, like, a little bit down, and I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> there's, some, there's some left field ones in here. Go on. Give, it, give, it, give up Here's the... Here's a question. Have, were they on whenever you were working? Uh, so it sometimes, been... but I don't... I never w was working where I used my own Spotify. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh I'm that sucks. This. I'm right. getting to this point where I don't care about playing this anymore. So Declan, nah, that sucks. Uh, give us your top five or top ten. Let's go I top reckon five. I'll do top five, and then I'll do a little scroll, and I'll tell you some of the left field ones that are in there. All right, cool. My number one is "Done" by Cam Cope. Oh wow! Two Australian is, chick band. I like it. Two is "Black Top" by Julian Baker. Wow, American chick. Three, Artist. three is a you song were called, obsessed with that song. I was obsessed with that album. Like with we that, talked yeah. in the yeah. last episode, I listened to an album for two months on repeat. No, I remember because that's whenever I started working at when that song came out. I started working at <laughs> at Bianca <laughs> Nero, so and I swear that's that album was on every day. Ever get to? Yeah, number three is a song called "Stay in One Place" by Real Friends. Mm -hmm. Four is a song called "Pastel" by Moose Blood. Five is something right. by Julian Baker. Then I've wow. got like 68, Courtney Barnett, a band called Somos, uh, Block Party, mm -hmm. oh, Alexis oh, on Fire, you were cool ones. Childish Gambino, there's a Hillsong United song in there. More, more closer, Kings of Leon. Like, Man, I busted out um, Childish Gambino today as well. Yeah. Ooh. Heaps of City and Colour. The one that got me was this is a song by Rufus. You have a song that surprises me. There's two on there. That I don't really like me. that album. Oh, one of their man. first albums. Wow. There's another. Oh, wow, I must have listened to that album a few times. Dave, you want to grab Jobs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, grab mine. Mine's yeah. going to be weird, man. All right, let's see. Javid. Is yours already open? No. All right, we've got to get the... Uh, got to get to Discord. Got to, like... Discord. Where did you send yeah, the link to, there. Sam? Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yep. All right, click on Jav's link. I don't understand. Jav's got 6% <laughs> battery, It's so. a really confusing level. Also, Jav, you've got 14 tabs open on your uh, oh, phone. Oh, gosh, that makes me so anxious. Yeah, that makes me so anxious, Why? too. <laughs> Why do you need that many tabs open? <laughs> on, my, on my Google Chrome? Yeah. I don't know. So, your first, your number one... Oh, here we go. ...is Bullet by Chelsea Late. Yeah, man. I don't I know what the hell that is. That song. <laughs> I've not heard that. Your know, number two is Where Are You Now with Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. that's, um, you can't deny that that's a good that's song. That's good. It's fantastic. But like... Okay, next one is uh, Sway by Household. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, Secret by Chelsea Lanks again. Yeah. Um, we all have different tastes. I love it. One, two, three, four. And number five is now uh, Giants by Now Now. Yeah, man. Um, ooh, job. Play, we... some, play some left fields. Yeah, so there's none in Jarvis that are left field. They're no. all exactly... Exactly what you would expect. Wow, dude, you listen to Fractures? Yeah. And so Fractures Embers is in there. He's a guy from Melbourne. Is he really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, he's from Melbourne. Um, you've got... You and I have some shared uh, mountains love in here too. Oh, yeah. 
lost track of time. What is happening um, in this freaking level? Sober but Blink-182 is an unusual nah, one. Nah, that album, California, <laughs> is so good. Dude, that, that's an that's, album that I that Start I to finish, that album is like... Every single song is amazing. Mm. Flows perfectly. Like, Whoa. such a good album. Nah, dude, every, everything in your top played is like, yeah, that, that's what Jav listens to. Um... So no surprises. Jav has no less feelings. Where did you just fall to just then? I'm it restarts, no, man. Let me call you. Sam, I'm, right. I'm sober. No, so no, no. my number one is Thirty Three God by Bonnie Bro. Ah, great song. Only has recently really been out. So like, for it to make it to your top one. Okay, nah, so I the think... story behind that is, I would whenever I was reading the book series called uh, The Gentleman Bastards. Mm-hmm. And through all of those books that I read, all through 2016, mm-hmm. um, uh-huh. I would strictly only listen to Bonnie Iver albums when I read it. <laughs> but and Bonnie now when I hear Bonnie Iver albums, all I can think about is what happens in those books. Right. And it's actually like amazing. I love it. Bonnie cool. Iver's cover of that Birdie song is so good. <laughs> It's such a good cover. That's a that's a that's a classic Declan joke. I know that joke. Do you um, mean like I've made it before, or that's just something that Declan? No, would say? I think you've made it before. Good, I make it a good all joke. the time. It's a great Cause joke because people who are like really defensive of Bonnevere and go, like that, go I can imagine that song. They bite so hard. <laughs> what do you mean? But Richard, Richard, he wrote that song. Um, number two is Joyride's Mute Math. Oh, cool. yeah, I picture that for Sammy. Uh, number three is Belly Side Up by Matt Corby. Oh, cool. That's uh, a good, that's a good, like, that's a good groove tune. Number four is Do You Remember by Mr. Joe James. That's oh, a great song. Another great that's groove tune. That's a really tune. great song. Uh, and number five is 29 Stratford Apartments. Oh, which is another my bon. favorite bon bon. Bonnie Verse song. What yeah, are, mine what too. Am I missing? Oh, and then uh, just just to make everyone feel better, "Fears" by Mountains is number seven. Oh man, we oh. all have some mountains love in our top played. No, I am. And I, then I Reliant K so made it in the top ten. <laughs> Reliant K did. I was listening. <laughs> we oh, we were listening to Dude. Reliant K last night. Yeah, yeah I saw. It. Wait, I saw it. Have you? <laughs> <both>? <laughs> I was. I saw I you listening no, to Reliant K. We were listening to it last night, and then it got me so pumped. I listened to all of it. Mm-hmm, <laughs> did you like their newest album? I didn't listen to it. Didn't that's listen the one to you. It. Oh, you have. Well, that's what I mean. The newest one that's um, available. Dave, were you listening to you, like? Dave was listening to it. Yesterday. Yeah. No, I got on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Were you listening to songs that just had the title "Deathbed"? Yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> 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 because you press it on the first one and then it just goes through all the other ones. <laughs> I saw you listening to uh, like a "Deathbed" and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of interesting." <laughs> and then another song came out called Deathbed. Death I was bed. like, hang on, what's happening here? Like, what's the... I actually don't follow people on Spotify. I, can't, I keep forgetting Man, that people I can look at my, um, so my I have, uh, um, Spotify. I think I might have already mentioned it, but I have this fun friend. I won't say who his name is. But the only thing I ever hear, watch him l- listening to, yeah, is ocean ocean waves for sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only thing. Yeah, like he just wants to listen to ocean music, like ocean sounds, you know, while he sleeps. But that's this o- the only thing he ever plays. I, I, oh, no. I, I, so, I do I know uh, him because I feel like. No, I can. I reckon I can pick who it, exactly who it is. Really? But, yeah. I've, my I left reckon. fields are. Uh, I have an idea. Do, would I know how to pick him, Job? I don't know. I don't Maybe. know if you would. Okay. My my left fields are because of Dave. Yeah. Um, you keep getting uh, back the, there. My left field, two of my left fields are Dave's suggestions yes. to me. Uh, first is Darwin D's. Ah, yeah. Because I was in the car with Dave, and I was like, oh, my God, I haven't listened to this stuff in forever. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one was uh, Schoolboy Q. Oh, oh. yes. And Love Schoolboy. And then the other one is I, I listen to like a couple of Sigur Ross songs like yeah. heaps on repeat. They're good for sleeping, Sigur. <laughs> good, good for sleeping. <laughs> I just would like I just get really into those songs. Oh my gosh! All right, guys, I'm I'm giving you my top five. Oh, and Ace Waters is in here. Oh, like nice. number twenty. Sick. Um, so um, That's a cool boss. Number one is a song called "Foregone Conclusions" by Pedro the Lion. Um, on the Achilles Heel album, which is bloody great. Declan, you'd love that album, actually. Yeah. It's a Declan oh, album. Oh, my lord. Sure. 
Second most played. Bloody great. Second most played <laughs> track is Doubt by Pup. Wow. Um, I can't believe there's no Pup in mine as well, actually. Man. I such a good song. It's great. Now That album would be in one of my best albums, too. That album is so good. i got to say, like, Foregone Conclusions and Doubt being one and two is surprising. Third one is absolutely... I have no idea how this happened. But my third most played song is Doomed by Bring Me the Horizon. Wow. Oh, wow. I love that's that album. That's song. really interesting, man. Yeah, I, but... I see it was like a Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah, movie. I'm not really. But, like... Did you come with us? No, no didn't I didn't come. come. That was such a good gig. Yeah. Architects played. Oh, that's good. Bring Me, cool. who are also one of my favorite <laughs> bands, <laughs> played Sadness, Will Never End, with Sam. Mm. And it was like... It was amazing. The album with um, yeah. I think it's called that. You for need Spirit. to do it whenever they're spread out. That's oh. that's the same album. Um, as yeah, that's what I mean. So like, that I think that was the I think that's the um that's the bring me album that I actually have liked because usually I would say that I didn't like Bring Me the Horizon. So that was number three. Number four, fantastic bloody song, Hometown Hero by Andy Schaaf. Like bloody great song, everybody. And number five. 22 over soon, Bonnie Ver. Nice. Um, That's in 33 yeah. God Sam was my um, my seventh played song. Oh. Um, but. Oh, hey Knuckles. Breathing in a new mentalities in there. Um, I've also got Stafford, um, Stratford apps apartments, apartments in my uh, in my list there, Sam. Good. And heaps of mountains. Oh, here we go, cutscene. Good heaps guys. of mountains, heaps of Andy Shafe. We just beat the game. Well, Java did. Hey. Hey, Look at that Tails butt and that yeah. Sonic butt and that Knuckles butt. Knuckle butt. And Knuckle there's butt. a Starry Field song in there. <laughs> Knuckle butt. Knuckle butt. Hey, so... That's um, a good list, Davey. Hey, Tom, I'll I'll message you on Facebook, but we all have your songs on uh, on our most played. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I love you. But not Declan. Not well, Declan. That's, um, that's Sonic Mania, everyone. Yeah. It uh, started work. great, but then kind of became a bit lackluster towards the end. Because we kept getting squished in pillars. Yeah. Good. And just super confusing, like, claustrophobic level design. Mm. Did me, you enjoy like, it, though? Um, Like, because it was different? I definitely liked the first half. I really, really liked the first half. Yeah. Um, second half, we're really weird levels to, like, remix. Like, Oil Ocean is such a bad level. <laughs> That's um, Oil Ocean is from Sonic 2. And it's just that... It's just it was bad at Sonic 2 and it was bad in that game. Um, but like yeah, like I enjoyed it. I'd give my rating like seven out of ten. Yeah, sweet. That's a pretty good rating. Yeah, that's a great yeah. rating. Um, like that's not it's not a rating to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, that's a funny thing to say, right? <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, that was alright. I actually really want to go back and play it again, just to like take take my time and try to understand it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You gonna do a video on it? Mm, no. Nah. No. Nah. You just crushed the soul of so many <laughs> Sonic people that want to bash 6, you. Six thousand subscriber hearts just broke. Yeah. Oh, wow. And two hundred thousand Sonic fans went yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Should we bail? Yeah, let's bail. And let's jump on to uh, Mario and Rabbids. Yeah. Cool. I'm let's ready. do it. All right. See you later, guys. Bye. Boy. Oh, kissy face. Um. <laughs> <laughs>